this realm of Apocrypha, like it is uh, portrayed here, is quite interesting. So it, it seems a little bit more, I shall say, natural than the realm of Apocrypha, which was more mental in Skyrim. But uh, I mean, that's fine. It's uh, it's part of the thing. But what it reminds me of is the ideal realm or the ideal place, whatever whatever the place where vampires. Uh, the soul kern, I remember now, the soul kern with the ideal masses, how they, these beings, I think what they do, because the ideal masters, for example, I mean, they're daydreaming in a sense, but just like um, our scholars categorize anything as daydreaming that we don't understand, that we don't see as daydreaming is daydreaming. So these are just non physical entities, non physical things that manage to conjure these realms of existence, these realms of mind and you see the husks of things there is sort of like Nern, like a copy of Nern, like a copy of, of the natural world that we see on Nern but creating their own, their own realms so when you see Apocrypha like this it reminds you of um, of Oblivion, like actually the game Oblivion in 2004, 2005, that where, where you go underneath and you see these towers in this realm of lava, and when you think about the soul kern, it's sort of the same sort of abandoned, brazen realms with weird inhabitants that are kind of lost in a sense, but it's it's very interesting how, how they manage this idea of creating realms from the mind. Another little interesting uh, mention of, of um, Hermeus Mora and the origins of his name, Herma Mora. This is how they knew it uh, in Skyrim as Hermeus Mora. Other names are the one who knows a lot of secrets, the inevitable knower. And the Admoran people just know him as the Woodland Man. So when you think about the Admoran people, you think about the ancient proto Nordic people like ancient, ancient woods, and in Scandinavian culture, of course, the idea of this connection with the wilderness, with the forest, and the tranquility, just the disbelief also from the Celtic um, myths and the Celtic culture that the forest itself was alive, was a part of nature, uh, in, in some sort of a sense, but so is Hermeus Mora somehow connected with nature, in a sense, it seems, so here they talk about the careful study, about the oldest texts and surviving and how the Admoran language evolved, and it's saying that the earlier word for woodland is translated better as wilderness, and the idea of man is uh, related to the development of speech, of speaking, of, of talking. So the idea of this woodland man could also be that it's also that which speaks in the wastes, in the wilderness, in all this, this realm or this larger realm of Apocrypha. So when you think about it, going with the theme that um, they're trying to tell you here in Apocrypha that there's no, not a physical reality, it's a realm of ideas, what they value, these non-physical beings, the Tremora, the Daedra, what they value our experiences, is wisdom, is knowledge, is myths, is fantasies, is mental energy. This is what they value, and in this case, Herman Mora is knowledge. So when you think about this connection between being in the forest alone, and this is a lot of the rites in real life mythologies happen this way, with some sort of a prophet going into the wilderness or, or remote place and just meditating and then making contact with ulterior forces that share this knowledge with them. So I'm thinking, what if the ancient Admoran people knew this woodland man uh, as they were just retreating themselves into these uh, endless forests before civilizations really began? And that's how they acquired this connection to such knowledge, and that's how they started calling this deity as they contacted him in, in, the, in the realms of the mind. The, deeper realms of the quote-unquote wilderness. It's a very interesting piece of lore here. I'm glad I'm finding all these little bits and pieces here together. 
Herman Mora who shares terrible secrets in desolate places. That is an interpretation that makes more sense for a Daedric Prince known as the Keeper of Forbidden Knowledge. Fantastic.